Hello, I'm Robert Turrell, creative technologist and trainer. I've been developing applications in one form or another for over 25 years, and like many of you, I moved to developing mobile applications for iOS because I was not only intrigued by the opportunities that iOS app development offers, but also because I simply love what devices like the iPhone and the iPad have done to bring a new level of user experience to our daily lives. If you've already done a little iOS app development and you're looking to deepen your knowledge and take on projects that involve location, mapping or camera functionality, this course is for you. I'm going to start off by walking you through the main features of Xcode 4 and its much improved single window development environment. Then we'll jump into the more advanced iOS frameworks available to us developers. We'll begin with Core Location and MapKit and go through how you can use these frameworks to develop location-aware applications which display data and extra information on maps. Because the devices we're developing for are also mobile phones and carry our users' contacts data and calendars, we're going to look at how we can integrate this data into our apps and even allow users of our apps to alter or add new contacts or events and communicate with their friends via SMS or email from within the apps. The next step will be to look more into what we can do with email, including adding valuable feedback functionality to apps, allowing our users to let us know what they think of them, and tell their friends about them. You'll also learn how to integrate camera functionality into apps and manipulate media files, including video. We'll finish off by looking at how you can broaden your app audience by targeting both iPhone and iPod Touch, of course, and iPad platforms through the creation of universal apps. There are certainly some interesting challenges involved in producing apps for both types of device, but with the addition of cameras to the iPad, this is an area that promises to be of great interest. Project code is available for you in the Project Files folder, and we'll be working through this code as we progress through the course. My aim is to provide you with the tools you need to start building some exciting new advanced apps. So, get ready to dive in.